Hi everybody and welcome to the N Channel video blog. And today what I want to talk about is just what I found at work. Now, what I found was two oscilloscopes and three variacs. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. I found about ten oscilloscopes. And when I was leaving out the door with all these, like, with a pallet jack, everyone was like, whoa, what are you doing? You know, and then they all like, clued into the fact that these were going home and they were like, we want some too. So it sort of sucks. And everyone has seniority over me, so I got the last picks. But these still are just amazing little guys. I'm really excited to get into these. I haven't worked with an analog oscilloscope since first semester school. So it's just going to be really cool to get back into how manual these things are. I've grown really dependent upon my Rigel, but now it's actually nice to get into something new. The other thing I found was three variacs. And now this is awesome. I've never got to play around too much with these, because every time I make an electronics order, I'm like, yeah, I want one, but 130 bucks a unit sort of pricey. But now I got three of them. And not only that, but like it's on an aluminum plate which has switches and fuses in it and actual LED uh, lamps. So basically this is really well configured for test setting up. Now the only thing I really want to do is drill some holes in here and get some banana jacks in here. But I just want to boast about this awesome find I had. And it even gets better. It's still in the works. There's just some paperwork I gotta do for this one. But I might be actually getting a six axis robot from the exact same thing they're dumping. It's amazing this company and what they're throwing out. For them it's cheaper to just discard everything. I know the oscilloscopes to keep for longer but like this robot was used twice and it's easier for them to throw it out and replace than it is to have any work done on it because they're just doing guaranteed things and they just have to have that quality assurance. Now the one thing that sort of does grind my gears on this is just the fact that it was heading for a garbage dumpster. It was never even considered to be donated to a high school where kids could learn on it or anything like that, but just straight to the garbage. And I maybe understand from the sense of liability or anything like that, but it's just sort of disgusted. They're not even being recycled. And like, if you look at this, it's solid metal on these old guys. And that's the thing, like, it's so many of these nice old materials and like, definitely it could be repurposed. So it's just one of those things, it's just terrible to see it happen. Like, I'm glad I get to take advantage of it. But it's just how many things have they thrown out that could have been used over the years. Now, just sort of continuing on on what I found. Now, I know this isn't directly electrical, but it's definitely used in electrical projects. And what it is, is a electrical box. And it's a really nice heavy-duty sheet metal one. Never been used. And there's about 15 of these heading off to the garbage. So, of course, I scooped up a couple, so that way they're actually going to be used for something nice. And I just want to give you an idea of what the type of finds I'm finding here. It's more than just basic electrical equipment. It's actually going into stuff that's sort of behind everyone's sort of thought process in these little things. It's all the clips, the alligator sheaths, all that little stuff, and it's just some really awesome finds I'm actually coming out with. So I really lucked out where I am right now for my internship, and I'm hoping that every week I can almost boast of what I found. So let's see how it goes. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have yourselves a great day.